Hello. Welcome to your new carbon home. I'm sure you're really excited to get settled in. So here's a quick demo of how everything works to help you. You will benefit from an initial defect period which covers you for items such as plumbing or electrical items as long as you have not caused the fault. Any work carried out independently in your home such as extra plumbing or sockets should be done so by a registered contractor, otherwise this can cause your warranty to be void. Your home also comes with a 10 year warranty which covers some structural faults should they occur. You will need to arrange a boiler service in the first 12 months to ensure your boiler warranty remains valid. All defects should be reported to our customer relationship team on 0808 164 0111. You can find more information on what is classed as a defect in your Here to Help guide. Please note, defects cannot be reported to the sales and marketing team. Your new home needs time to dry out. Minor cracking around door frames, window sills and where the door walls meet the ceiling are perfectly normal. This is not covered by the warranty and can easily be repaired with filler when you redecorate. For this reason, we recommend waiting for 12 months before decorating your new home. Some good ways of helping with drying out are Try to keep a consistent temperature in your new home which is not too hot. Avoid drying wet clothes or towels on radiators. Allow air to circulate by keeping furniture off walls where possible. The location of the consumer unit varies depending on which home you live in and will usually be in a hallway, cupboard, utility room or garage. The RCD switch detects faults and will switch off electricity when needed for safety. The black switches are labelled so that you know which room has the fault. If you need to switch off the electricity to your home, you can do so by using the red switch. Kitchen appliances come with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. You should contact them directly to set this up. Before using your oven for the first time, we recommend doing something called burning it off, which gets rid of coating inside the oven and the new smell. The manufacturer manual will give instruction on this. Manuals for all appliances will be included in the home user pack for you to take a look at. You'll notice an isolation switch for any built-in appliances on the wall. The extractor should be maintained by regular cleaning. Bulbs can be changed by removing the cover over them. Avoid allowing water onto wooden surfaces such as kitchen unit doors. This can cause them to swell. Should you need to shut off the water to your home, you can access the stopcock under the kitchen sink. Wiring for the TV point is coiled in the loft, approximately one metre from the hatch. It's your responsibility to arrange your own internet connection after moving in. You'll see your toilet is dual flush. The large button gives a 6 litre flush, the smaller one 3 litres. Please avoid flushing wipes to avoid blockages. There is an isolation valve at the back of the toilet. This can be used if the toilet needs repair. Avoid the use of blue toilet cleaning products. These can cause seals to erode and cause leaks. Don't forget to clean the hair trap or drain on showers and baths regularly to avoid blockages. We recommend using warm soapy water to clean tiles and grout. When possible, dry tiles with a towel after a bath or a shower to avoid mildew buildup or mould. Seals on shower trays and baths can sometimes detach after the first few weeks of use. If this happens, please get in touch to have this fixed. Use the extractor when running the bath or shower. The isolation switch for this can usually be found above the bathroom door. Baths are fitted with an anti-scald valve located under the bath. We've set the maximum temperature to 48 degrees to comply with building regulations. Your bath panels are sealed to allow easy access in the event of a leak or if the bath needs to be reset. When cleaning, avoid bleach. This can take the surface off the bath and discolour shower trays. Heating systems can vary depending on the home. Full instructions for your boiler and thermostat will be included in your home user guide. If you'd like this explained in more detail by a member of the team, just let us know. Most radiators other than those in bathrooms, hallways or the rooms where the thermostat is located will have a thermostatic radiator valve. This works by reading the air around it, so it's important not to obstruct the radiators with towels, curtains or furniture. Some homes may have more than one heating thermostat depending on their size. This gives more control over the temperature in certain parts of the home. Before drilling, use a cable detector to make sure you don't hit any cables or pipes in the wall. Heavier items should be hung on outer walls as these are stronger. Stick to light items on partition walls. 
Your fire alarms are battery and mains operated. If the battery goes flat, the alarm will start to beep and you'll need to change the battery. For your safety, you should test fire alarms weekly. To do this, simply hold the button down on the alarm for a few seconds. You will hear two beeps in a two-storey home and three beeps in a three-storey home. Excessive dust can trigger the alarm, so it's best to dust and hoover regularly. The loft is a ventilated space, not designed for storage or boarding, as this can usually affect the insulation or even the warranty on your home if it damages the ceiling below. Lofts can also become damp during the drying out process and so are not suited for storage. If you do need to go into the loft, please only stand on roof trusses. You'll see all windows will have locks except fire escape windows. Please leave trickle vents open and if possible windows locked on the part open position. This will help with drying out. You can keep your windows in good condition by regularly cleaning the mechanism tracks making sure they're free from debris, as well as oiling the moving parts. External doors can be locked by firstly closing the door and lifting the handle. You'll then be able to turn the key or thumb screw. Most door locks are fitted with a thumb screw to allow easy escape in the event of a fire. Before you move in, your garden fence panels will be pre-treated. You shouldn't need to stain these again in the first 12 to 18 months. As part of our efforts to be environmentally friendly, we recycle soil from site to be used in your gardens. The soil may therefore need some TLC to get this just how you would like it when making your garden your own. From the day you move into your new home, any pre-laid turf will be your responsibility. If you have any further questions, feel free to get in touch. Wishing you lots of happiness in your new home from all of us at Carbon.